hello and welcome guys to another tutorial where i'm gonna show you how to create boost mechanic for your vehicle so of course my english is gonna be as bad as previous video if you have seen that so i've already imported the vehicle advanced vehicle blueprint example project and i have everything set up i've opened that vehicle blueprint in vehicle advanced bp blueprint section so just open it i've al already opened it so now what you need to do is to create an event like i want to create boost from i want to fire boost if player presses right control you can choose any button you want or you can create your own custom binding right CDRL visit and after doing that the thing that you need to do is to call set physics linear velocity I don't know why I'm even making this tutorial it's so easy <laughs> then yeah set physics linear velocity and then in new linear velocity you can just on axis axis set the values but in this case the only the thing that will happen is that if your car rotates or do any sort of rotation thing then your x-axis will be some point somewhere else I mean it will not gonna be forward always so what you gotta do is get forward vector and we'll get the forward vector of actor get actor forward vector and then will multiply it to a float and where this float will be the control speed of your boost so you can say 3000 or you can promote it to a variable let's promote it to a variable call it a speed if you compile you'll already have the 3000 as our default value now yes let's increase it to 4000 I will. you can also press this add to current and as it the name suggests it will add to the current linear velocity so while you check this you will have to decrease your speed because it will be really high rather than so here boon name is nothing i mean if you really want to mo it boost up whole car then you really don't need to worry about it but if you want any bone to just boost then you can just set any name here but for now we don't need any so we'll compile and yeah that's really it if you now hit alt p with control you can see that how player boost however it got hit by anything and then of course you can press again control and you can see it's boosting let's do it again control yeah it again and there my pc is super slow and that's why yep yeah. here it goes let's test it again so you boost. so yeah you can add particle system and all this stuff to make it look cool but that's really it another thing that if you guys you guys me ask that why not use add force I mean it can also be used at force but you know there is a bug in case of real vehicle 
in Unreal Engine 4. I mean, I've not tested tested it since 4.15, but maybe it's fixed. I never tested it, but at that time, you really could not add could not add force. <laughs> I mean, you could not call that add force function in the wheel vehicle project. I mean, it will not move at all no matter how high w higher value you choose your vehicle is aren't gonna move so that's really it that's really that's why we use set physics linear velocity however if you hover over it i mean let me see so you why <laughs> yeah uh yes as you can see in tooltip set the linear velocity of a single body this should be used cause cautiously it may be better to use add force or add is impulse but you know in case of wheel vehicle you really cannot use add force and add vehicle there is a bug in in unreal engine 4 i think it's, it's still present you can check but if it's not present then you can always use add force but for now use set physics linear velocity yes that's really it so bye if you like something about this video just like it if you disliked don't dislike it I mean, of course it may be my english that that caused you to dislike but that's all thank you also subscribe